So a trailer that you posted on the Facebook page about an upcoming video game entitled Cuphead. It's a run and gun platform indie video game by Canadian brothers Chad and Gerald Moldenauer operating as studio MDHR drawn in the style of 1930s cartoons. Mm -hmm. Uh, Unfortunately for me, fortunately for you, uh, this will only be released on Microsoft Windows and Xbox One. Yes. So is this a game that you're looking forward to? Because it definitely has that old school platformer run and gun type uh, feel to it from watching the trailer. Right. And traditionally, my gameplay, not a huge fan of... You know, side scroller shooters, uh, run and gun uh, platformers, and stuff like that. Never been my best uh, loved type of game. But, and I will say this is a major caveat for me, I loved old style like cartoons. Like the Max Fleischer style animation? Yeah, like right. way, way, way throwbacks, like mm-hmm. to Steamboat Willie yeah. era animation. Like, I would Mary watch. Melodies. Those, I mean, yeah, all the Looney Tunes, all the Merry Melodies, all those uh, Tom and Jerry, all that kind of stuff. But, like, even before that, like, the not really licensed characters that were just, you know, animated shorts and stuff. There was right. this one that was uh, just like a an island where all of the characters were musical instruments. And, like, it was sort of like a Romeo and Juliet story where, like, a brass instrument had fallen in love with a woodwind instrument Aww, and they were trying to... It's adorable. They were trying to escape. Something like that. I don't I don't remember much about it, but I loved that freaking cartoon. And I would watch it all the time. It's that kind of uh, nostalgia for me. And I know that that will appeal to a lot of older gamers as well. Right. And the animation definitely looks spot on for the era that they're trying to capture. Mm -hmm. What's interesting about this game is it's going to focus primarily on boss battles and they're actually, um, the developer, the developers are planning to surpass the Guinness world record for number of boss battles in a run and gun game by having 30, to the record of 25. Wow. Was the previous record. So it looks really interesting. Mm-hmm. And it's one of those games, if you get it, I'm going to have to come over and play it. Yeah. But, you know, and here's it'll the probably thing. be a two player game, too. Yeah. It did say that it is going to be cooperative play. Nice. But here's the thing, man. So, like, Super Meat Boy mm-hmm. was originally released primarily on the Xbox 360. Yeah. But then ended up getting ported to the PlayStation three and four Mm -hmm. so do you think eventually a game like cuphead if it takes off as far as an indie game whenever their exclusivity deal with microsoft ends do you think we could see that on the playstation 4 which is arguably the better console (laughs) Uh, arguably yeah i mean and i'm not going to argue with you on that point because i don't know enough about either system i just i have one and i like that i can play games on it (laughs) right I don't care. Uh, speaking of, uh, there's uh, some PlayStation fans that are a little upset right now because they announced that they are increasing the price of PlayStation Plus from fifty nine. Oh yeah, no, I saw that. Seventy nine, yeah, or sixty nine. It's it's going up to around seventy bucks a mm-hmm. year. And the the argument is, you know, we're paying this for the you know for the free games and all that, but the selection is kind of shitty. Mm-hmm. There's been a few games that I've been really impressed that they put out for free on the PlayStation 4. The PS3, the games, they're almost a AAA title every month. Yeah. But with the PS4, it's mostly indie games. Now, yeah. that being said, Rebel Galaxy was great. I mm-hmm. loved playing that. Uh, had a very, like, Firefly yeah. feel to it. But uh, I remember watching some of your gameplay from that. It looked like it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. I doubt that they're going to lose a lot of players i mean you can grumble about having to pay an extra 10 15 bucks a year but, but at the same time pay it. you can't play online if you don't yeah. so which with the playstation 4 they didn't do that with the ps3 hmm. um but now with the playstation 4 they added that in hmm. all right so we're gonna we're gonna move on but here. yeah no I, I, in answer to your question though yeah it probably will get ported over because i mean like you said the same thing happened with super meat boy so yeah almost certainly eventually once the exclusivity deal runs out yeah it'll I'm still probably... waiting for rise of the tomb raider to come out on ps4 it's supposed to be here soon 
Wait, seriously? Yeah. It's I did not even know that it wasn't out. Yeah. Oh. It's not out yet. But it should be soon. It's supposed to be July, but I think it's gotten pushed back a little bit. Well, and that actually, if you want to go into the time list next, that well, game is on the time list. Let's, let's save that for last. Okay. So let's uh, go so on. So a little I've teaser. A, here. a, little, a teaser. little teaser for you. And we'll talk about Time's Top 50 Games of All Time here soon, but not, not right now. 